Yo guys, what's going on? Cliff Jumper, nineteen eighty four. Red Rocks, your favorite Autobot. Drinking that, Natty Ice. Coming back to you with another video game pickup. Uh, this time it's all NES games except one controller. And it's for Atari 2600, the last time I did a video game pickup, I talked about how I got this keyboard controller and I was after the CX-21 uh, video touchpad. And it was nice that this guy, when he sent it to me, I said, hey, you know, this isn't what I wanted. He sent me what I wanted for free. And the one I originally ordered did not have the Star Raiders insert because what it's basically like an overlay on it. I don't know if they were going to make, I don't know if this is the only game they use it for, but there's buttons over there. You can see what that corresponds to what button and everything like that. I did say in the other video that Star Raiders is my favorite Atari 2600 game. At least out of all the ones I've played, I know there's probably a lot out there I haven't played. But it's cool, but you can turn like, you know, your map and hyper warp and all the stuff. That's what you use this for on the second controller port. It's, it's you know, it's something uh, from back when I fir uh, first owned my own Atari. I had this with Star Raiders, and I just wanted to have it. So I basically got it, and freaking real happy I do have it. Throw that over there, if you don't mind. Uh, eBay pickup, but it uh, didn't cost me anything because this was... Basically for my YouTube payment for people watching my stuff like people like you. Uh, Top Gun, the second mission. So it's got the thing, the... Yeah, uh, yeah, I did have the original Top Gun. Yes, that's it. Oh, that's the second mission. We, I just got it when uh, I got it from my last YouTube payment. Frick yeah. Yeah, I never really understood how to play it, but I did. I know how to play it. I just could never land the fucking I plane. Never land. It always crashed. Yep. Did you ever watch an angry video game nerd episode with me about that? Maybe. I might not recall. Oh, I forget what hey, buttons wait, it's been yeah. so long. Alright. Yeah. This is the one where, uh, you know, the second Top Gun movie where Tom Cruise plays somebody and Dolph Lundgren comes and beats the piss out of him. And no, not really. It wasn't a second movie, but I never played this one either. Uh, I got it because I remember the first game a, a lot because my buddy used to live across the street when I was younger. We played it all the time because we, we couldn't land the fucking plane, you know, just like AVGN always says. And... Basically, for my credit, <clears throat> excuse me, it cost me four forty-five free shipping. It's just another game to check mark off the NES list I didn't have. I normally do a video game pickup uh, run video or like a video game hunting one. Uh, I didn't have people that met up with me that wanted to go and to work. I got called in to work, so I really didn't have the help to film. And it's like the second time this has happened, so it gets kind of old, but whatever. I just didn't have a cool video to share with you guys. But every time I go do it, I always stop at Green Dragon and go see my buddy Brian at Brian's Computers and Video Games. He's got an online store. I've talked about it before, and there's videos of it before. But I'm going to throw the link to his store down below. If you want stuff that you know is going to be clean and well taken care of and it's got a great warranty, check out, check his stuff out. Buy from him. I back his stuff. He backs his stuff. So do that. But anyway, I was looking at some of the NES games. I pretty much looked at everything he had. I really wanted something to catch my eye i don't mind spending money with him at all for the way he takes care of his stuff and buy locally that's the best thing to do support local business i have a local business so that's why you always got to do that and it did come across a black box game and i was like yes because i, I don't know why i've been after to collect them all and i know of course oh you can get them off ebay easy but going around and going to the different places i do and find them is half the fun right so I did pay thirty dollars. <throat> he owed me some credit for a game that I bought off a store that was just missing from inventory. Stuff happens like that. But I got Donkey Kong. Picture of you standing beside it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a new way to clean it out. It only took like forty minutes to clean it all out. But then 
my dad's like, why don't I bring my car to Troy for shit? So then he took me back to my house. Because I'm like, well, I might as well just ride with you. I said, if I, why drive back to my house when I was planning on coming back to Ephrata to go to autos and return shit and then to... Perfect. He's like, all right. So then while we were in my garage, he's like, is there any shit you want me to... Oh, shit, I wanted to give him more trash. I just started throwing it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So I cleared some room in my garage. He's like, here you go. And then I used the cabinet. I never had uh, Donkey Kong, uh, the black box game, but did have the Donkey Kong Classics, which I also wanted to buy from him two different times when I was there a while ago, but I forget what else I picked. And the only big reason why I really wanted this is because I have the box. And look at that pool tab on it, like or the hanging tab, whatever you want to say. Yeah, the pool tab. Or uh, the display tab, yeah. I mean, it's not, the box isn't in the best condition. I've got a crease here and stuff like that, some creases over here. And I told him, I was like, yeah, you know, I know I have the box and everything. And, I, you know, you can just use any sleeve with it, right? You know, a Nintendo labeled one. I was like, what well, I need is the manual. But when I got home and everything, and I grabbed the box to put it all together, the flipping manual was in it. And I didn't remember if the styrofoam was in it. It's hard to see. But the star, yeah, the star films in there and stuff. So it's like, I've got to complete the box. And I was really eager to see about what it's going for. The, uh, around 120 to 150. So it was like, not in it for the money at all. So, but just to put it all together without buying everything all together, it's, it's really cool. So I'm just really happy to have, you know, a nice staple of, you know, early Nintendo in its prime. And my buddy was telling me about there's this warehouse that does like collections, does a lot of uh, figures, you know, you know, toys and everything like that, and video games. He's like, you gotta go check it out. He gave me a card. Uh, is it 13 Green or Green 13 in Mannheim, PA? And it was a little bit out of where we were, probably like 40 minutes away. But the other guy I was going with I was like, you wanna go over there? He's like, yeah, let's do it. And I showed up there and it. They had this big sign on the door. It said appointment only. And I was like, fuck. You know, did the rules change or anything? <clears throat> so I started walking away. He's like, oh, hey, what's going on? It's like, oh, I see it was appointment only. I'm not, you know, I going by the rules. So thanks. He's like, well, what are you looking for? Come on in. Come on in. And I was like, this could be started something cool. And he's like, you know, I'm looking. He just has a small display case with a lot of, like, inbox stuff. There's some... Transformers, there's a Diaclone, freaking Megatron, uh, original 80s uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all original packaging, all for turtles and everything. I'm looking at all this stuff, and he's like, well, what are you looking for? And I said, well, you know, I don't know what kind of setup you got here. I can see this warehouse of shelving, like, 15 feet tall and shit. I told him, oh. <laughs> well, I'm looking for like NES games, retro video games, really, or G1 Transformers. If you got some, and he's like, you really should buy or look at online stuff, but you got it generalistically what you're looking for. I can show you my NES stuff, and I'm like, cool. And he pulls out these bins, and I'm looking, flew them, and thrift them. Yeah, thrift and flipping them, and I see one. It's a Color Dreams game, and I'm like, yes. I'm as if it's going to be Bible games, I'm going to pick it up, but it's. Master Hu and the Drunkard Few, or Master Chu and the Drunkard Few, and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to drop that kind of money on one game right now, but I did see one that came across. Spot. Spot? It's not no. the game I wanted no. it to be. No. It's kind of like, I think plays like a fellow. Picked it up and it came home and played it. It was I was hoping it was going to be the side scroller, kind of like the Super Nintendo Genesis version was, and it was like a puzzle game. I was like, ugh. But eh, 
Whatever. I got it. it was, I paid eight bucks for it. And then a Hudson Soft game. Mendel Palace. Oh my god. Which one can I play it? I'm trying to sky out. What was she drawing? Get out of here. No one ever really talks about it. It's got a pretty cool label on it. And it's kind of like, I guess, a puzzle game. And you flip these boards and you get all these different weird power ups. I don't I enjoyed what little I played with it. There was like these eight different worlds kinda of like Mega Man you can select for and I got two beat and I was like, eh, you know, I'll stop it here. I like it so far. And it was kinda of a little pricey. I paid fifteen for it. So but the label's in decent condition. Can't complain there. What do you think about this pickup? You play any of these or own any of these? Throw that comment below. If you haven't, subscribe, slap a like on this one. Hey, until next time, drink one on me.